Zombie, and this is a Series 3. Hey everyone, so we're here in sunny England with our latest conversion. Um, this one is an old Series 3, as you can tell. Um, it's got like a lovely patina, the roof's all a bit dodgy, it's got bits of moss growing in it. Um, but underneath it's got our Tesla Model 3 conversion. Um, it has all new running gear, so it's running on Defender axles, it's running Defender disc brakes, it's got all new power hydraulic springs, uh, the steering box has all been rebuilt, so it's as new and as good as it can be for a Series 3, so that it can take the Tesla Model 3 power. Um, we've put a rear drive unit from a Model 3 with a new gear set, a quaff diff, all sorts of lovely stuff in there, paired with a Felton 55 kilowatt hour UBP, um, which is in the front. It basically gives you all the mod cons of an electric car, but in this lovely old Series 3. So here at front of the vehicle, as you can see, it looks relatively standard. Um, so only the eagle-eyed view that will notice the, the rad packs in there. So if we pop the bonnet, you'll see our standard 55 kilowatt conversion kit that can be found in our Defenders. Um, not a huge amount to actually explain here. There is a 55 kilowatt battery, good for around about 150 miles in this particular vehicle, um, obviously tyre dependent. Um, there is a HV heating system, uh, a brake booster, and everything that you need to cool the system is condensed nicely within the standard radiator pack. So much like our Defender builds, this one has a, a Type 2 charge socket, so it allows for a standard home charging and the CCS rapid charging. Um, as we pan around to the interior, you can see that this has the relatively ropey looking original interior, uh, much in keeping with the exterior that the customer wanted. The idea being this is an ultimate sleeper build. So we'll do a quick rundown of underneath this Series 3. Um, the first thing to note is that this is running Defender axles, it's got all new internals, um, so it's nice and tight, it turns really well, uh, handles the road really nicely. New parabolics, as we said before. Um, and then if you follow me, under here you can see uh, all the mounting brackets and everything for the UBP, that's the underside of that. All your fuse boxes and stuff are um, tucked up in there along with your bi charger, which is your charging, and then DC DC to give you 12 volts to battery. So that runs a bit like an alternator on an ice motor. Um, tucked in the middle here, you've got the Tesla Model 3 rear drive unit. This has got a Quaif uh, LSD in it. It's got a brand new gear set which matches the ratios of these fender axles, um, so you get the right finishing speed. Um, you've got all of your wiring looms tucked up in here. Um, Bracketry to hold all this on. Um, we've got uh, specialist 3D printed parts that fit for the um, cooling tubes, that kind of thing. Everything HV is bright orange. Um, and then lastly, down at the back, we have an electric wheelwood handbrake, which has gone on to the disc brake upgrade, which we'd suggest to do on all Series 3s, just so it stops as good as it goes.